I breathe Me a controller, young soldier, once over Any man of this we I get slumped over Not for scared of the thing that come closer You need to come over Bad man, we don't watch that Even when we need to watch that I got my gun on me So much fun. We're gonna do a little spontaneous trip adventure. So, yes, y'all keep up with us and we will see y'all on the flip. Bye. Now, if you ever wondering about the way I'm feeling, well, baby girl, there ain't no question. Just to be around you is a blessing. Sick and tired of trying to save. an epiphany about yeah. this moment, really, that I would be here yes. with my camera? And this hat on my head. And I'm dancing like that. <laughs> wow. Did you record that? Yeah. That was a good moment to get. It's on camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, that's the thing. I don't want to walk in the, down the hill and hills. 
All right, so McKinley and I drove out Nashville. We just got a ride to um, downtown. So right now we are walking and it is lit out here, y'all. Oh, and it's not raining anymore. I'm so happy. Same. I'm trying to match Ken's fly for the night. Yes, you got the trash on and I got a little cleavage. So we're about to see what um, downtown Nashville has to offer. Yeah, catch me in the hood, I posted in the stove, took it in my lap on the whole countdown. 
flow. Get a girl too. Let her do a thing. Just like a mama, nice. The Chelsea boots is too regular, you know what I'm saying? Folks always doing Chelsea boots with the hats. Not even back here anyway. So go ahead and try and set. I need to put shoes in the house. Hey everyone, so today is Sunday, September the 23rd. McKinley and I are about to go to brunch, 10 cent mimosa. So, you know, we had to show up in our Sunday best. So, y'all see McKinley getting his shoe right. I have on my little denim dress right here with my little um, highlight yellow shoes. And is this a restaurant? I don't know. The restaurant is called Under the Radar. But I'm not for sure where it's at. You ready? Yeah. So, McKinley has a friend who's already here who um, has a seat saved for us. And yeah, so we're about to go and enjoy. What? What is going on? Okay. Anyway. Below, under. <sighs> Thank you, Sa. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I'm gonna finish this for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, you're not one for my birthday life. I got a pinpoint of the alcoholic yeah. alcohol. Yeah. That's me. It's fun. Thank you. Thank you. You keep that food. But you know, you've been like booking. <laughs> <laughs> you know you love, love like Who that. do you love? These student loans. 2070. And 2070. Wait for it. It's over for y'all. It's you over. Y'all not even ready. Even know, okay. Y'all won't even be ready. Y'all not even gonna see it coming. But it's over for y'all. 2070. <laughs> Come on, they not even gonna Debt see it free, coming. Debt-free, student loan free. What? what? 2070 will be lit. Living my best life. Living my best life. Ain't going back and forth for you, you niggas, niggas. We living, living our my best life. 2070, we coming. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody touch me in the right. 
Where's it? Right there, it's dead. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a dead. It's a dead spider in his car. So, y'all, my man's McKinley over here is single now. So, you know he is living single. Ooh, Ooh in, in the 90s, 90s kind of world. I'm, I'm glad, glad I got my girl. Now keep your head up, what? Keep your head up. That's right, whenever this life gets tough, you gotta fight with my homegirl sending to my left. Then my right, true blue. We tight like glue. We're living, living single. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun 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 dun. dun. Ah. <laughs> He's 38. Oh, okay. So y'all, we're at McKinley's place. When I say y'all, I don't know how many episodes of Wendy Williams McKinley uh, could watch. Okay. <laughs> so do I stick around and wait? This is like the third episode. <laughs> but y'all, he could watch well, him some Wendy Williams and some hot topics. You know, he a little messy, a little messy tan. So I guess you know he could really relate to this stuff. <laughs> But we are here just chilling. We need to, um, we'll probably be heading to a little grocery store sooner or later so we can get some dinner and um, come back here, make dinner, watch Insecure, oh, do facial masks, and drink some wine. I already got a little bit, which you know, we can always drink some more. It's month to month. Oh, we are making mimosas. Right? Mimosas. Okay, some more. And because we just day, left, uh, was the mimosa really 10 cent or did they go up to 50 cents? He told me they went up to like 25. I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah. You know, they, they was better at 10 cents. First of all, they, they need to have bottomless. They need to have bottomless. They need to have bottomless. But I would, but what's at the bottomless would have been 10 cents. 10 cents. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Yeah. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Good. What's your name? My name is Dina, okay. and I'm an EMT. So this is your house. You can fart. I just did. Oh, thank you, sir. Andy. And show me. Andy. So, yes, y'all. But we're just here chilling until we make some moves. So. I took care of him, of course. I'm ready for insecure tonight, though. I'm ready. I'm ready to see what happened to Nathan. Where he at, though? Going missing on Easter like that. Who he think he is? Mm. Next. Alright, so McKinley and I are at Walmart right now. He's going to make dinner tonight. He said stuffed spinach salmon. Creamy, like pasta, something salmon. Ken, what you said you were going to make again? Um, stuffed salmon with, um, Stuffed, yeah, creamy spinach stuffed salmon over a, a pesto pasta. So yeah, that's what he's making. Uh -huh. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm so excited. That's just, I've never had that before. Mushrooms? So. Mm -hmm. If you want mushrooms, you can get them. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm buying them for like the week. Yeah, I just want to show you. Mm -hmm. I love mushrooms. So, <laughs> I was so comfortable in my pajama dress that I didn't want to take it off just to come to Walmart. So I kept it on, just threw on my <laughs> threw on my Adidas track pants and this little jacket. As y'all can see, I still kept my hair, my edges, you know, gotta keep them edges, you know, I should live. You know, I gotta take care of the edges with that silk. So, I was like, this is, this is what Walmart gonna get tonight. <sighs> so yes, my flight leaves at 7.05 in the morning. Um, I flew into Birmingham. Birmingham is the hour away from Huntsville. 
So McKinley's gonna drive me back around like 4 a.m. And then I will be on my way to Baltimore. And then from Baltimore, I will fly into Norfolk International. So that's on tomorrow's agenda. I should be back in the 7 5 around like 11, which is good. I was just telling McKinley it's good that I'll be home early in the day. Typically, normally when I take my trips, I always come home at night. And after that, I have nothing to do but just to go to sleep, wake up, and then go to work the next day. But since I'm coming back early, I can go to the gym if I want. And I can do just whatever else I need to do and take a nap. And then later on, go to sleep at night. All right, so over here to the left we have stuffed salmon with spinach, cream cheese, parmesan cheese. And then over to our right over here we just have the spinach mix on top of the salmon. McKinley just wanted to experiment just to see which one turned out better. So we are about to just leave them in here for a good 15. And I am taking the box of noodles and pouring it into our boiling water. All of them? I was thinking. Okay, yeah. How many should I? Well, definitely more than that. Yeah. And over here, I made the pesto sauce. McKinley is about to run and go back to Walmart and get some. Alfredo sauce nice. and then we have some garlic bread right here Texas toast the five cheese bread so we'll probably put this in later on you put a little bit of oil mm -hmm. so it don't stick I forgot to do that before. yeah I mix it up So y'all, Ken said that it tastes good. Let's see the inside of the bowl. So this is how he has it set up. Mm -hmm. Just how does the salmon taste? Amazing. It tastes amazing, I believe it. So this is mine over here. Y'all know I like to have everything at one time. <laughs> so I'm waiting for the garlic bread to be done. It should be done here shortly. And then I'm gonna make mine. So right now I'm washing off my face. Well, with my makeup wipe. So fresh, clean, makeup-free face and a delicious meal. Oh, and McKinley made mimosas. Yum. So this is our Insecure meal. Insecure comes on at 9.30 over here since we are an hour behind the East Coast time. So it should be on shortly. It's like 9 o'clock right now. So not too much longer. And I'm excited, as y'all already know. I already know. I said one of my biggest pet peeves is when people use the microwave and they don't reset it. Like the time, they keep it on like whatever time. Oh, yeah. No. I thought about my coworkers. They do that all the time. Coworkers are just some of the most trifling people. Like you would think like coworkers didn't have any home training. They do stuff at work, they wouldn't share it with home. Right. So y'all, let's get into it real quick. McKinley and I just finished watching Insecure. And y'all, I'm disappointed i'm disappointed because mckinley and i said this episode we literally found out nothing like <laughs> nothing nothing like we still don't know what happened to nathan um what we did find out was Issa is just going crazy in the mind over this nigga um lawrence went to church and molly is just being petty towards andrew personally i like i think andrew is cute honey that's all we found out. And it won't even nothing to find out. Like it was just, 
I did like Issa and Lawrence, you know, going out to coffee. So you like one scene in the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> because first of all, I was good on Lawrence being in the show, but I'm like, all right, if he's bad, him and Issa might as well rekindle and find that spark. Excuse me. So, you know, that was cute. When we were looking at the preview for next week's episode, McKinley and I said, okay, this had a lot this has a lot of elements to it. So maybe this might be little longer than 30 minutes i don't i don't know but hopefully i just don't understand insecure is on season three why are they still on eight episodes like i did see a while ago somebody had posted a comment saying um dang east can you give us an hour long you know episodes and she responded like oh you trying to kill us and I I just, to me, I don't think that's asking for too much. And even if Issa didn't want to give us hour-long episodes, at least make them more than eight. At least, let's, let's do it on the whole scale from one to ten. At least ten to twelve. You know, like, I don't know. Because honestly, y'all, by the time the season gets good, it's episode six. Then it's seven. Then it's eight. And the season is done. Then we got to wait a whole nother season summer just for the show to come on like you know god willing i make it to see another summer i'm not trying to wait that long you know at least have have your summer your summer premiere have your winter premiere i mean come on come on so i don't know hopefully next episode we find out what happened to nathan um Hopefully, he doesn't try to pop up on some, oh, who is this when it comes to Lawrence. And hopefully, Issa doesn't have to choose. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What's, what's going on? Hmm. What you think, Ken? Everything you just said, but add in some profanity. Because I'm so <laughs> tired of them. Like, I'm just tired of... I'm just with, I feel like this whole season they've been beating around the point. Like, you know, they've been beating around a bush this whole season. And I just want them to get get to the point. They were they were trying to character build so much. Like, the first couple of episodes around Daniel. Just for us not even to see Daniel no more. You know? Mm -hmm. Then it was like, when they went to Coachella, it was almost like we were starting to see a little bit more of um, Tiffany. And like kind of her vulnerability because Tiffany always likes to act like Tiffany put together. And we kind of saw a slight crack in the foundation when it came to like the friendships. And then her and Kelly for the baby shower. Um, and I hope that they do something about that too. Like I hope they don't end the season not even addressing what happened with Kelly and. Tiffany. Uh -huh. There was one scene where they were outside and she asked her a question and she didn't answer. It was just like it cut to a scene where Tiffany was opening gifts. Uh -huh. And somebody said to me, well, maybe she just said something to her and, you know, they just you know, put it to the side. But I'm like, well, we want to see what she said. Like, y'all just left us on the little cliffhanger of an answer. Right. And then all of a sudden she opening gifts and Kelly is just outside. I think she was like outside chilling. I don't know. But like I said, I think that they were trying to character build around Daniel just for us not even to see him anymore. So right now, he's irrelevant. Speaking of what happened to Daniel. I, and this is why I'm saying insecure needs... This is our own... You know how they be having the wind down at the very end? This mm -hmm. is our own insecure wind down. But this is why I say insecure needs to have more episodes. And I was telling somebody, you know, the one of the things I like about insecure is that, you know... It's slow, but it's so realistic. Like, and in life, things aren't always happening. Like, you'll see a bunch of TV shows. Something major happens in this episode. Something major happens in the next episode. In the next episode. In the next episode. Life isn't always popping off like that. So, it might be some days to weeks to months before something happens. And I think that's why, you know, always in the later episodes, things really start heating up. But it's like, come on on you guys for eight episodes y'all need to have stuff popping up all the time 
I don't know. That's all I have to say. So, um, I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm getting tired and I need to start getting a little bit of rest before I leave tomorrow, head on to this airport. So, I had so much fun. Oh, so thank you so fun. much for coming. Thank you for having me. Anytime. And every time I end the vlog, pretty much nowadays, and I'll see somebody. As we go on, we remember all the times we've had together. And as our lives change, <laughs> we will still be friends forever. What happened to the screen? It got dark. Oh. Uh, there we go. I didn't know what you were singing. <laughs> in, in the key of Z flat minor. <laughs> she can't just keep changing this password. Anyway, like this. Bye, y'all. Virgo.